Durban Zulu, Ethiquini, from Ithaku meaning, Bay, Lagoon, is the third most populous city in South Africa, after Johannesburg and Cape Town, and the largest city in the South African province of KwaZulu-Natal. Located on the east coast of South Africa, Durban is famous for being the busiest port in the country. It is also seen as one of the major centers of tourism because of the city's warm subtropical climate and extensive beaches. Durban forms part of the Ethiquini Metropolitan Municipality, which includes neighboring towns and has a population of about 3.44 million, making the combined municipality one of the biggest cities on the Indian Ocean coast of the African continent. It is also the second most important manufacturing hub in South Africa after Johannesburg. In 2015, Durban was recognized as one of the new Seven Wonders cities along with Vigan, Doha, La Paz, Havana, Beirut, and Kuala Lumpur. The city was heavily hit by flooding over four days from 18 April 2019, leading to 70 deaths and R650000 in damage. Durban was recently named the New Darling of South Africa due to its all-year-round warm weather, long stretches of beaches, traditional cuisine, lively markets, world-class hotels and arts districts. History Archaeological evidence from the Drakensberg Mountains suggests that the Durban area has been inhabited by communities of hunter-gatherers since 100,000 BC. These people lived throughout the area of present-day KwaZulu-Natal until the expansion of Bantu farmers and pastoralists from the north saw their gradual displacement, incorporation or extermination. Little is known of the history of the first residents, as there is no written history of the area until it was sighted by Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama, who sailed parallel to the KwaZulu natal coast at Christmastide in 1497 while searching for a route from Europe to India. He named the area, Natal, or Christmas in Portuguese. Topic first European settlers In 1822 Lieutenant James King, captain of the ship Salisbury, together with Lieutenant Francis George Farewell, both ex-Royal Navy officers from the Napoleonic Wars, were engaged in trade between the Cape and Delagoa Bay. On a return trip to the Cape in 1823, they were caught in a very bad storm and decided to risk the bar and anchor in the Bay of Natal. The crossing went off well and they found safe anchor from the storm. Lieutenant King decided to map the bay and named the Salisbury and Farewell Islands. In 1824 Lieutenant Farewell, together with a trading company called J.R. Thompson & Co., decided to open trade relations with Shaka the Zulu King and establish a trading station at the bay. Henry Francis Finn, another trader at Delagoa Bay, was also involved in this venture. Finn left Delagoa Bay and sailed for the Bay of Natal on the Brig Julia, while Farewell followed six weeks later on the Antelope. Between them they had 26 possible settlers, but only 18 stayed. On a visit to King Shaka, Henry Francis Finn was able to befriend the king by helping him recover from a stab wound suffered as a result of an assassination attempt by one of his half-brothers. As a token of Shaka's gratitude, he granted Finn a 25-mile strip of coast 100 miles in depth. On 7 August 1824 they concluded negotiations with King Shaka for a cession of land, including the Bay of Natal and land extending 10 miles south of the bay, 25 miles north of the bay and 100 miles inland. Farewell took possession of this grant and raised the Union Jack with a royal salute, which consisted of four cannon shots and 20 musket shots. Of the original 18 would-be settlers, only six remained, and they can be regarded as the founding members of Port Natal as a British colony. These six were joined by Lieutenant James Saunders King and Nathaniel Isaacs in 1825. The modern city of Durban thus dates from 1824 when the settlement was established on the northern shores of the bay near today's Farewell Square. During a meeting of 35 European residents in Finn's territory on 23 June 1835, it was decided to build a capital town and name it Durban after Sir Benjamin Durban, then governor of the Cape Colony. Republic of Natalia The Vortrekkers established the Republic of Natalia in 1839, with its capital at Pietermaritzburg. Tension between the Vortrekkers and the Zulus prompted the governor of the Cape Colony to dispatch a force under Captain Charlton Smith to establish British rule in Natal, for fear of losing British control in Port Natal. The force arrived on 4 May 1842 and built a fortification that was later to be the Old Fort. 
On the night of 23 24 May 1842 the British attacked the Vortrecker camp at Congella. The attack failed, and the British had to withdraw to their camp which was put under siege. A local trader Dick King and his servant in Dongeni were able to escape the blockade and rode to Grahamstown, a distance of 600 kilometres in 14 days to raise reinforcements. The reinforcements arrived in Durban 20 days later, the Vortrekkers retreated, and the siege was lifted. Fierce conflict with the Zulu population led to the evacuation of Durban, and eventually the Afrikaners accepted British annexation in 1844 under military pressure. Durban's historic regalia When the borough of Durban was proclaimed in 1854, the council had to procure a seal for official documents. The seal was produced in 1855 and was replaced in 1882. The new seal contained a coat of arms without helmet or mantling that combined the coats of arms of Sir Benjamin Durban and Sir Benjamin Pine. An application was made to register the coat of arms with the College of Arms in 1906, but this application was rejected on grounds that the design implied that Durban and Pine were husband and wife. Nevertheless, the coat of arms appeared on the council's stationery from about 1912. The following year, a helmet and mantling was added to the council's stationery and to the new city seal that was made in 1936. The motto reads, De Bill Principium Melia Fortuna Sequitur. Better fortune follows a humble beginning. The blazon of the arms registered by the South African Bureau of Heraldry and granted to Durban on 9 February 1979. The coat of arms fell into disuse with the reorganization of the South African local government structure in 2000. The seal ceased to be used in 1995. <laughs> <laughs> government and politics With the end of apartheid, Durban was subject to restructuring of local government. The Ethiquini Metropolitan Municipality was formed in 1994 after South Africa's first multiracial elections, with its first mayor being Sifo Nwenya. The mayor is elected for a five-year term, however Sifo Nwenya only served two years. In 1996, the city became part of the Durban Unicity in July 1996 as part of transitional arrangements and to Ethiquini Metropolitan Municipality in 1999, with the adoption of South Africa's new municipal governance system. In July 1996, Obd Marba was appointed mayor of Durban Unicity. In 1999, he was elected to mayor of the Ethiquini Municipality and re elected in 2006. Following the May 2011 local elections, James Namalo, the former Speaker of the Council, was elected as the new mayor. On 23 August 2016 Zandil Gumid was elected as the new mayor until 13 August 2019. On 5 September 2019 Mexalizi Kounder was sworn in as the new mayor. The name of the Durban Municipal Government, prior to the post-apartheid reorganizations of municipalities, was the Durban Corporation or City of Durban. Topic. Geography Durban is located on the east coast of South Africa, looking out upon the Indian Ocean. The city lies at the mouth of the Umgeni River, which demarcates parts of Durban's north city limit, while other sections of the river flow through the city itself. Durban has a natural harbour, Durban Harbour, which is the busiest port in South Africa and is the fourth busiest in the Southern Hemisphere. Topic. Climate Durban has a humid subtropical climate Köppen climate classification CFA, with hot and humid summers and pleasantly warm and dry winters, which are snow and frost free. Durban has an annual rainfall of 1,009 mm in. The average temperature in summer ranges around 24 degrees Celsius 75 degrees Fahrenheit, while in winter the average temperature is 17 degrees Celsius 63 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Demographics Durban is ethnically diverse, with a cultural richness of mixed beliefs and traditions. Zulus form the largest single ethnic group. It has a large number of people of British and Indian descent. 
The influence of Indians in Durban has been significant, bringing with them a variety of cuisine, culture, and religion. In the years following the end of apartheid, there was a population boom as Africans were allowed to move into the city. The population grew by 2.34% between 1996 and 2001. This led to shanty towns forming around the city, which were often demolished. Between 2001 and 2011 the population growth slowed down to 1.08% per year and shanty towns have become less common as the government builds low income housing. The population of the city of Durban and central suburbs such as Durban North, Durban South and the Berea increased 10.9% between 2001 and 2011 from 536,644 to 595,061. The number of black Africans increased while the number of people in all the other racial groups decreased. Black Africans increased from 34.9% to 51.1%. Indian or Asians decreased from 27.3% to 24.0%. Whites decreased from 25.5% to 15.3%. Coloreds decreased from 10.26% to 8.59%. A new racial group, Other, was included in the 2011 census at 0.93%. The city's demographics indicate that 68% of the population are of working age, and 38% of the people in Durban are under the age of 19 years. It has the highest number of dollar millionaires added per year of any South African city, with the number rising 200% between 2000 and 2014. Informal sector Durban has a number of informal and semi-formal street vendors. The Warwick Junction precinct is home to a number of street markets, with vendors selling goods from traditional medicine, to clothing and spices. The city's treatment of shack dwellers has been strongly criticized by a report from the United Nations linked Center on Housing Rights and Evictions, and there has also been strong criticism of the city's treatment of street traders, street children, and sex workers. Durban is known throughout the world for its strain of cannabis called Durban Poison. It is one of the most common strains sold by car guards and street dealers throughout Ethiquini. Topic: <laughs> Civil Society. There are a number of prominent civil society organizations based in Durban. These include, Abilali Basmyondolo Shack Dwellers Movement, the Diaconia Council of Churches, the Right to Know Campaign, the South Durban Community Environmental Alliance and the South African Unemployed People's Movement. The Durban Art Gallery was founded in 1892. <laughs> <laughs> Nature and wildlife Berman Bush The Durban Botanic Gardens Hawan Forest New Germany Nature Reserve Pigeon Valley Nature Reserve Umgeni River Bird Park Umlanga Lagoon Nature Reserve Kenneth Stainbank Nature Reserve Mitchell Park Zoo <laughs> <laughs> Stadiums and sports facilities Moses Mavida Stadium Activities include a skycare ride or adventure walk to the top of the arch with 360-degree views over Durban, Guinness World Record bungee swing, Segway gliding tours of the stadium, cafes and restaurants, monthly I Heart Durban Market. Kingsmead Cricket Ground is a major test match and one-day cricket venue. Kings Park Stadium is host to the internationally renowned Sharks rugby team. Grayville Racecourse, home of the Durban July Handicap and Durban Country Club and Golf Course. Durban Ice Arena activities include leisure ice skating, birthday parties, school excursions, sporting events, team building activities, corporate functions and group bookings. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Communications and Media. Two major English language daily newspapers are published in Durban, both part of the independent newspapers, the National Group owned by Sekunjalo Investments. These are the morning editions of the Mercury and the afternoon daily news. Like most news media in South Africa, they have seen declining circulations in recent years. Major Zulu language papers comprise Isiliswe, independent newspapers, Yamafrika and Alanga. 
Independent newspapers also publish Post, a newspaper aimed largely at the Indian community. A national Sunday paper, the Sunday Tribune is also published by independent newspapers as is the Independent on Saturday. A major city initiative is the Ezase Gargasini Metro Gazette, the national broadcaster, the SABC, has regional offices in Durban and operates two major stations there. The Zulu language Ukorsi FM has a huge national listenership of over 6.67 million, which makes it the second largest radio station in the world. The SABC also operates Radio Lotus, which is aimed at South Africans of Indian origin. The other SABC national stations have smaller regional offices in Durban, as does TV for news links and sports broadcasts. A major English-language radio station, East Coast Radio, operates out of Durban and is owned by SA Media giant Cargiso Media. There are a number of smaller stations which are independent, having been granted licenses by ICASA, the national agency charged with the issue of broadcast licenses. Sports teams and events Durban was initially successful in its bid to host the 2022 Commonwealth Games, but needed to withdraw in March 2017 from the role of hosts, citing financial constraints. Birmingham, England replaced Durban as the host city. Durban is home to the Cell Sea Sharks, who compete in the domestic Curry Cup competition as well as in the international Super Rugby competition. The Sharks' home ground is the 56,000 capacity Kings Park Stadium, sometimes referred to as the Shark Tank. The city is home to two clubs in the Premier Soccer League Amazulu, and Golden Arrows. Amazulu play most of their home games at the Moses Mavida Stadium. Golden Arrows play most of their home games at the Kings Wellathini Stadium in the suburb of Umlazi, but sometimes play some of their matches at Moses Mavida Stadium or Chatsworth Stadium. It is also a home to some teams Tara playing in the NFD such as Royal Eagles FC and Royal Kings. Durban is host to the KwaZulu Natal cricket team, who play as the Dolphins when competing in the Sunfoil series. Sean Pollock, Jonty Rhodes, Lance Klusner, Barry Richards, Andrew Hudson, Hashim Amla, Vince van der Beel, Kevin Peterson, Dale Benkenstein and David Miller are all players or past players of the Natal cricket team. International cricketers representing them include Malcolm Marshall, Dwayne Bravo and Graham Onions. Cricket in Durban is played at Kingsmead Cricket Ground. Durban hosted matches in the 2003 ICC Cricket World Cup. In 2007 the city hosted nine matches, including a semi-final, as part of the inaugural ICC World 2020. The 2009 IPL season was played in South Africa, and Durban was selected as a venue. 2010 saw the city host six matches, including a semi-final, in the 2010 Champions League 2020. Durban was one of the host cities of the 2010 FIFA World Cup, and A1GP held a race on a street circuit in Durban from 2006 to 2008. Durban hosted the 123rd IOC session in July 2011. The city is home to Grayville Racecourse, a major thoroughbred horse racing venue which annually hosts a number of prestigious races including the country's premier event, the July Handicap, and the premier staying event in South Africa, the Gold Cup. Clarewood Racecourse, south of the city, was a popular racing venue for many years, but was sold by the KZN Racing Authority in 2012. Durban hosts many famous endurance sports events annually, such as the Comrades Marathon, Doozy Canoe Marathon and the Ironman 70.3. Topic Transport Topic Air King Shaka International Airport services both domestic and international flights, with regularly scheduled services to London Heathrow, Dubai, Istanbul, Doha, Mauritius, Lusaka, Windhoek and Gaborone, as well as eight domestic destinations. The airport's position forms part of the Golden Triangle between Johannesburg and Cape Town, which is important for convenient travel and trade between these three major South African cities. The airport opened in May 2010. King Shaka International Airport handled 5.99 million passengers in 2018-2019, up 6.6% from 2017-2018. King Shaka International was constructed at La Mercy, about 36 kilometers (22 miles) north of central Durban. 
All operations at Durban International Airport have been transferred to King Shaka International as of 1 May 2010, with plans for flights to Singapore, Mumbai, Kigali, Luanda, Lalongwe and Nairobi. C Durban has a long tradition as a port city. The Port of Durban, formerly known as the Port of Natal, is one of the few natural harbours between Port Elizabeth and Maputo, and is also located at the beginning of a particular weather phenomenon which can cause extremely violent seas. These two features made Durban an extremely busy port of call for ship repairs when the port was opened in the 1840s. Durban is now the busiest port in South Africa, as well as the third busiest container port in the Southern Hemisphere. MSC Cruises bases one of their cruise ships in Durban from November to April every year. From the 2019-2020 Southern Africa cruise season MSC Cruises will be basing the MSC Orchestra in Durban. Durban is the most popular cruise hub in Southern Africa. Cruise destinations from Durban on the MSC Musica include Mozambique, Mauritius, Reunion, Madagascar and other domestic destinations such as Port Elizabeth and Cape Town. Many other ships cruise through Durban every year, including some of the world's biggest, such as the RMS Queen Mary II, the biggest ocean liner in the world. Durban will be building a brand new R200 million cruise terminal that will be operational in October 2019, the Durban Cruise Terminal. The tender was awarded to KwaZulu Cruise Terminal Pty Limited, which is 70% owned by MSC Cruises SA and 30% by Africa Armada Consortium. The new cruise terminal will be able to accommodate two cruise ships at any given time. Naval Base Durban on Salisbury Island, now joined to the mainland and part of the Port of Durban, was established as a naval base during the Second World War. It was downgraded in 2002 to a naval station. In 2012 a decision was made to renovate and expand the facilities back up to a full naval base to accommodate the South African Navy's offshore patrol flotilla. In December 2015 it was redesignated Naval Base Durban. Rail <inaudible> 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 Durban featured the first operating steam railway in South Africa when the Natal Railway Company started operating a line between the point and the city of Durban in 1860. Shisholoza Mail, the passenger rail service of Spornet, operates two long distance passenger rail services from Durban, a daily service to and from Johannesburg via Pietermaritzburg and Newcastle, and a weekly service to and from Cape Town via Kimberley and Bloemfontein. These trains terminate at Durban Railway Station. Metrorail operates a commuter rail service in Durban and the surrounding area. The Metrorail network runs from Durban Station outwards as far as Stanger on the north coast, Kelso on the south coast, and Cato Ridge inland. A high-speed rail link has been proposed, between Johannesburg and Durban. <laughs> Roads The city's main position as a port of entry onto the southern African continent has led to the development of national roads around it. The N3 Western Freeway, which links Durban with the economic hinterland of Gauteng, heads west out of the city. The N2 Outer Ring Road links Durban with the Eastern Cape to the south, and Mpumalanga in the north. The Western Freeway is particularly important because freight is shipped by truck to and from the Witwatersrand for transfer to the port. The N3 Western Freeway starts in the central business district and heads west under Tollgate Bridge and through the suburbs of Sherwood and Mayville. The EB Cleet Interchange, which is informally nicknamed the Spaghetti Junction, lies to the east of Westville, allowing for transfer of traffic between the N2 Outer Ring Road and the Western Freeway. The N2 Outer Ring Road cuts through the city from the north coast to the south coast. It provides a vital link to the coastal towns such as Scottborough and Stanger that rely on Durban. Durban also has a system of freeway and dual arterial metropolitan routes, which connect the sprawling suburbs that lie to the north, west and south of the city. The M4 exists in two segments. The northern segment, named the Ruth First Highway, starts as an alternative highway at Belito where it separates from the N2. It passes through the northern suburbs of Umlanga and La Lucia where it becomes a dual carriageway and ends at the northern edge of the CBD. The southern segment of the M4, the Albert Lutuli Highway, starts at the southern edge of the CBD, connecting through to the old, decommissioned Durban International Airport, where it once again reconnects with the N2 Outer Ring Road. 
The M7 connects the Southern Industrial Basin with the N3 and Pinetown via Queensborough via the N2. The M19 connects the northern suburbs with Pinetown via Westville. The M13 is an untold alternative to the N3 Western Freeway, which is told at Marianne Hill. It also feeds traffic through Gillets, Kloof, and Westville. In the Westville area it is called the Jan Smuts Highway, while in the Kloof area it is named the Arthur Hopewell Highway. A number of streets in Durban were renamed in the late 2000s to the names of figures related to the anti-apartheid struggle, persons related to liberation movements around the world including Che Guevara, Kenneth Kaunda and SWAPO, and others associated with the governing African National Congress. A few street names were changed in the first round of renaming, followed by a larger second round. The renamings provoked incidents of vandalism, as well as protests from opposition parties and members of the public. Topic. Buses Several companies run long-distance bus services from Durban to the other cities in South Africa. Buses have a long history in Durban. Most of them have been run by Indian owners since the early 1930s. Privately owned buses which are not subsidized by the government also service the communities. Buses operate in all areas of the Ethiquini municipality. Since 2003, buses have been violently taken out of the routes and bus ranks by taxi operators. Durban was previously served by the Durban Trolleybus System, which first ran in 1935. Since 2017, the newer People Mover bus system, which runs along certain routes, has been testing out free Wi Fi for passengers. Taxis <laughs> 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 Durban has two kinds of taxis, metered taxis and minibus taxis. Unlike in many cities, metered taxis are not allowed to drive around the city to solicit fares and instead must be called and ordered to a specific location. A number of companies service the Durban and surrounding regions. These taxis can also be called upon for airport transfers, point-to-point -point pickups and shuttles. Minibus taxis are the standard form of transport for the majority of the population who cannot afford private cars. With the high demand for transport by the working class of South Africa, minibus taxis are often filled over their legal passenger allowance, making for high casualty rates when they are involved in accidents. Minibuses are generally owned and operated in fleets, and inter-operator violence flares up from time to time, especially as turf wars over lucrative taxi routes occur. In recent years the ride-sharing apps Uber and Taxify have been launched in Durban and are also used by commuters. Topic. Rickshaws Although rickshaws have been a mode of transportation since the early 1900s, they have been displaced by other forms of motorized transport, and the 25 or so remaining rickshaws mostly cater to tourists. Topic. Educational institutions Topic. Private schools Star College, Westville Al Falah College Clifton School Crawford College, La Lucia Crawford College, North Coast Durban Girls College Eden College Durban Highbury Preparatory School Hillcrest Christian Academy Holy Family College St. Francis College, Marion Hill Kearsney College Maris Stella School Orient Islamic School Roseway Waldorf School St. Henry's Marist Brothers College St. Mary's Diocesan School for Girls, Kloof Thomas More College Topic. Public schools Beche High School Brettonwood High School Crossmore Secondary School Durban Academy High School Durban Girls High School DGHS Durban High School DHS Durban North College Analeni High School EHS George Campbell School of Technology Glenwood High School Hillcrest High School Hunt Road Secondary School Isopingo Secondary School 
Kingsway High School Carwaston Secondary Kloof High School Kloof Junior Primary School Kloof Pre-Primary School Kloof Senior Primary School Markland Secondary School Monterina Secondary School Northlands Girls High School Northwood School Ogwini Comprehensive High School Pinetown Boys High School Pinetown Girls High School Port Natal High School Queensborough Girls High School Savannah Park Secondary School Simla Primary School Virginia Preparatory School Westville Boys High School Westville Girls High School Wingen Heights Secondary Woodhurst Secondary Topic. Tertiary institutions Durban University of Technology Mangasuthu University of Technology Regent Business School University of KwaZulu-Natal University of South Africa Varsity College South Africa Mancosa Oval International Topic. Culture African Art Center Durban Art Gallery KZNSA Fancy Museum Topic. Places of worship Among the places of worship, they are predominantly Christian churches and temples, Zion Christian Church, Apostolic Faith Mission of South Africa, Assemblies of God, Baptist Union of Southern Africa Baptist World Alliance, Methodist Church of Southern Africa World Methodist Council, Anglican Church of Southern Africa Anglican Communion, Presbyterian Church of Africa World Communion of Reformed Churches, Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Durban Catholic Church. There are also Muslim mosques and Hindu temples. Topic. Crime and safety There were 1,396 homicides in the Durban metropolitan area in 2017. The murder rate in 2017 was 38.1 per 100,000 people for comparison, Detroit had a murder rate per 100,000 of 39.7 in 2017, New York 3.4 and London 1.2. The murder rate for the whole of South Africa was 35.7 per 100,000. Today, Durban has a higher murder rate than Johannesburg but significantly lower than Cape Town which had a murder rate of 62.3 per 100,000 in 2017. Previously Johannesburg had the highest murder rate but Cape Town has taken its place due to a surge in gang violence there. Gang warfare is less common in Durban today. Criminals usually avoid targeting tourists because they know that the police response will be greater. Heist or theft is a common crime in the city. Most houses are protected by high walls, and wealthier residents are often able to afford greater protection, such as electric fencing, private security, or gated communities. Crime rates vary widely across the city, and most inner suburbs have much lower murder rates than in outlying areas of Ethiquini. Police station precincts recording the lowest murder rates per 100,000 in 2017 were Durban North 7, Mayville 8, Westville 12, and Malvern 12. Kwamishu 76 and Umlazi 69 are some of the most dangerous areas. Other crime comparisons are less valuable due to significant under-reporting especially in outlying areas. There was a period of intense violence in the 1990s and the Durban area recorded a murder rate of 83 per 100,000 in 1999. The murder rate dropped rapidly in the 2000s and has increased slightly in the 2010s. Durban is one of the main drug trafficking routes for drugs exiting and entering sub-Saharan Africa. The drug trade has increased significantly over the past 20 years. Topic International relations <laughs> Topic. Twin towns and sister cities Durban is twinned with Alexandria, Egypt Antwerp, Flanders, Belgium Bremen, Germany Bulawayo, Zimbabwe Chicago, Illinois, U.S. 
Gwangju, South Korea Eilat, Israel Guangzhou, China La Porte, Reunion Koziang, Taiwan Leeds, UK Maracaibo, Venezuela Maputo, Mozambique Nantes, France New Orleans, Louisiana, US Oran, Algeria Rotterdam, Netherlands See also Art Deco in Durban Black December Durban Industry Climate Change Partnership Project DICCPP. Durban International Film Festival Durban Youth Council Emmanuel Cathedral Riverside Sufi Mosque and Mausoleum World Conference Against Racism 2001 held in Durban